Good morning, guys. We are on week one, day two, in reading of our story, The Red Kayak, and I'm going to be doing amazing words with you for this whole week. So let's dive in. So our question of the week, if you remember, we talked about it a little yesterday, is what inspires people to act courageously? We have our diagram here with our main idea at the top, which is acting courageously. And then we also have the ways we can tell if people are acting courageously down here at the bottom. We can do that by their actions, feelings, characteristics, and the situations that they're in. And so I want to encourage you this week as you read the red kayak on your own or with Miss Hudson to just really pay attention to what inspires people to act courageously. Look at the actions that they have, the feelings of the characters, the situations they're in, and what are the characteristics of that person in the story. So yesterday, if you remember, we read the story Run, Kate, Shelley, Run, and we saw these four amazing words in our story. And they were terrified, treacherous, bravery, and heroin. And we're just going to review a little bit of that story and what one of those words means. So you can read along with me as we read this snippet of Run, Kate, Shelley, Run. The rain felt even harder. Mud and water made the cross ties slick and treacherous. How could anyone cross this bridge? caught between the wind, the rain, and the boiling angry river. So you see that amazing word treacherous underlined. So what does treacherous mean? Who can remember or use their context clues to figure it out? That's right, treacherous means dangerous. So why can crossing the bridge be treacherous? That's right, because it was slick and storming. So why does the author describe the cross ties of the bridge as being treacherous? Why does he use that specific word? Yeah, to show just how dangerous it would be to cross the bridge in the middle of a storm. That's crazy, right? See if we can get to our next slide here. Okay, so our amazing word this week is revive and revive means to bring back to consciousness and we're looking at page 20 and 21 on the screen of our book and we're going to look at these pictures for a second and how they relate to the word revive so you can see right here it looks like there's a person that has fallen out of the kayak and do you think that that person would need to be revived Maybe it depends if they were unconscious, right? Because revive means to bring back to consciousness. So when you look at this little firefighter holding the little boy walking out of the building, say the boy's unconscious, how would that firefighter revive that boy? There are lots of different ways, right? He could try to splash water on his face. He could touch him gently to see if he would wake up. He could, um, have, he could do CPR on the boy. It really just depends on what the situation is, right? But he would have to revive him to bring him back to consciousness. Our second amazing word for today is expedition. An expedition is just a journey for some special purpose, such as an exploration for scientific study. Can you think of someone who would go on an expedition? Those are some awesome answers. My first thought was an archeologist going on an expedition to look for ancient dinosaur bones or ancient artifacts. So let's just look at our question of the week one more time. What inspires people to act courageously? So we looked at those photos on page 20 and 21 and we talked about the words treacherous. But let's look back and talk about terrified, bravery, and heroin. Could you be courageous if you were terrified? Sure you could. It may be really scary, but you could still be courageous and do something brave, right? And that shows your actions. You are acting bravely, even though you may be feeling terrified. How can a treacherous situation make someone show courage? We're talking about a treacherous situation. How can that make someone act courageously? 
yeah, just like in our story, Run Kate Shelley Run, she was in a treacherous situation when she had to crawl over the bridge, but she knew that 200 people could die if she didn't act courageously and cross the bridge to warn them, right? Our last question, how is bravery an important characteristic for a heroine to have? If you remember, heroine is our female form of the word hero. So why is it important to be brave if you're a hero or a heroine? That's right, in order to be a hero or a heroine, you have to perform courageous acts. In order to have courageous acts or to have courage yourself, you have to be brave. Awesome job, you guys. So today you are gonna have an assignment posted just like you had yesterday. Um, it'll take you to Google Forms and you're just gonna work on syllables. I know we talked about treacherous and terrified both have three syllables yesterday. There's just gonna be a list of words and you're gonna figure out how many syllables are in each of those words. That's all for today. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks guys.